Size is important, but it's one of, if not the most misunderstood aspect of frame selection. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing three extremely cool, but extremely different frame shapes to help you understand and get a clearer picture of which size is right for you. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. Today's video is all about sizing and a huge, important, crucial part of choosing the right glasses is getting the size right. But did you know that the size differs based on the shape? Well, by the end of this video, you'll understand that completely. I've got three beautiful frames from JF Ray, Reykjavik Eyes, and Kazal, completely different from one another. All three are gonna fit me perfectly and I'm gonna help you understand why different frames in different sizes can still fit the same person. Let's start, shall we, with Reykjavik Eyes. And you'll know if you've watched any of my videos that Reykjavik Eyes is one of my most recommended eyewear brands. Why? They're incredibly comfortable, they're incredibly durable, and they have a pretty unique aesthetic. A lot of people don't want glasses that take up all of their face. They want minimalistic eyewear that still looks cool and stylish. That's what Reykjavik Eyes gives you, more than pretty much any other brand. Designed in Iceland, they are crafted from a single piece of titanium. That makes them extremely resilient. You can pretty much tie them in knots and they do not break. It also means they have none of the traditional weak points that frames have. There are no screws in these glasses, for example, so nothing to come loose or break. And this model, which is the Rikard, is a pair that I wear myself and actually is our most requested frame, believe it or not. We've shipped the Rikard to more than 15 countries now. And I picked the Rikard because it's a pretty good example of a stylish rectangular frame. There aren't many of those. Most rectangular frames, I feel, are a little bit more old fashioned, a little bit more boring. The Rikard is an exception. I think part of it is the really cool double bridge that we see at the top of the frame. I think part of it is the classic Reykjavik Eyes, minimalistic titanium, you know, thin styling. And I think part of it is the angular nature of the corners on this frame, which might seem subtle, but for example, the contours here around the bridge piece and the flowing lines, for example, the angles here, it just all really completes the style and makes it really unique. Now the Rikard is a 54 millimeter eye size, which is about average for a rectangular frame. Now, when we say 54, what does that refer to? 54 means that the lens width is 54 millimeters. Now, this is really important. That's the lens width, not the frame width, not even the width of this half of the glasses. It's just the width of the lens. So when we look at Kazal, for example, which we'll get to later on, the width of this lens from here to here, is actually only one component in the total width of the glasses because we also have a lot of extra material either side of the lens and lugs which take the arms past the lens. But that's to come. For now, coming back to the Rikard, we have a 54 millimeter eye size. The second number on the frames is 17. That means that the distance between the lenses is 17 millimeters, or at least that is what it should mean. One of the problems in our industry, and it's something that I've encountered for a long time and is really problematic, is that that second number can refer to the distance between the lenses, or it can refer to the width of the bridge. And those two are actually different measurements. So for example, coming to the carbon wood frames from JF Ray, which again, we're gonna showcase more in depth later on, the width of the bridge on this lens is technically the difference between the two nose pads here. That's the width that that's gonna fit on my nose. But the distance between the lenses is significantly greater because you can see that beyond the nose pads, it's actually at least four or five millimeters on either side to get to the lens itself. I'm not advocating for that. I think that's a really annoying aspect in our industry, but it's the reality. And that is something that we will guide you through in a styling consultation or your optician should be able to advise you on when they're helping you select the right frames. The first Rikard frame I showed you, by the way, is in that forest green color. I think it's beautiful but the frame definitely has a lot more definition in black. And it's really interesting actually how the frame color can affect frame sizing, not literally, but in terms of how the frame looks. You'll see it again when we come to the Kazal with a darker coloration versus a lighter coloration. Generally speaking, a lighter coloration looks smaller and a darker coloration looks bigger. 
I don't know if you can tell with this frame because it's such a thin frame, the color probably doesn't make too much difference. But I generally tend to find that a softer color like this and the green is gonna just look a little bit more seamless with my face compared to black, which is going to be more striking and make the frame seem more imposing. So a lot of people who wear 54 millimeter as an example, will then come to me as an optician and say, I need glasses that are 54 millimeters or a 54 eye size, they'll probably say, because they don't necessarily know that it even means millimeters. So when I show them, for example, a frame like this, which is technically 47 millimeters, they would assume that it's gonna be way too small. But actually, this frame fits me pretty much equally as well as the right card. Why is that? Well, generally speaking, round frames should fit smaller than the face. So if you choose a round frame, you should expect those numbers to be significantly less than a rectangular or particularly a square frame. The smallness of that lens width belies the actual width of the glasses, which is fairly wide. We have pretty significant lugs here, which take the arms past the face. We have a pretty wide bridge or distance between the lenses, as we ascertained that was 22 millimeters. And we have extra material. That material, by the way, on these glasses is carbon fiber finished with a veneer of wood in the top half. And the JF Ray Carbon Wood series of frames is definitely one of my favorite collections of eyewear. The glasses I had on at the start of the video are Carbon Wood by JF Ray. I'm a huge fan. This one is the 2901 and it's our most popular carbon wood frame. Everyone who visits the store and tries this on instantly loves it. And it's interesting to see how different that looks in this coloration where you have more of a lighter brown tone at the top of the frame. Because I think when it comes to smaller eye sizes or smaller round frames in particular, it's actually the opposite of the effect you get with square frames. With square frames, I tend to find that a darker frame looks larger. With round frames, I tend to find that a darker frame looks smaller because it accentuates the roundness of the frame. That's just an observation I've made over time. I absolutely adore, by the way, the zigzag carbon fiber effect on the inside of the frame. It is just super characterful. It makes you kind of excited when you put them on because that's the first thing that you see and all of a sudden you're looking through them. This has a lighter brown coloration, so again, I think it looks softer and we have this emerald green bridge which really completes the whole look. John Francois Ray, my favorite eyewear designer, he's so innovative when it comes to frame materials in particular and pairing carbon fiber and wood together in one frame was never done before. Probably no one ever even conceived it before, but JF Ray went and did it. So we've now tried a 47, a 54, and now I'm gonna show you how even a 56 is still going to fit me. This is the classic, iconic, timeless, and masterful 607. One of the most special eyewear designs of all time. The 607 has a special place in eyewear history because it was one of the first frames to be worn as a true fashion accessory. That changed the whole culture of eyewear, bringing us to where we are today, where they are seen as a huge positive. You know, glasses are a fashion accessory, part of your overall everyday style, and a way to see the world better. They're definitely not a negative thing. It's a shame, in my opinion, that they used to be perceived that way, but no longer. And Kazal were absolutely fundamental in that change of culture and perception. Let's remove the tinted lenses, because I think with the 607, it's always best as an optical frame. This is a new champagne colorway, so it has like a almost yellowish crystal to it. And this is a 56 millimeter eye size, which is pretty big. Generally speaking, square frames are gonna be worn the largest, followed by rectangular, followed by round. Now, all three of these frames in this video have fitted me more or less equally. I would say the Reculi Kai's are the most comfortable, but that's purely because of the titanium construction, which makes them incredibly lightweight. The Kazals obviously have a lot more presence, both aesthetically and in terms of comfort. You can really tell that you are wearing them because they're a big pair of glasses, but they're not uncomfortable. None of these frames have been uncomfortable because they all fit me well. So in a square frame, I would probably be looking anywhere between a 54 to a 58 would probably fit me really well. In a round, anything from maybe 45 up to 51 would fit me really well. And when it comes to rectangular, somewhere probably between 50 to 55. Now I'm generally speaking about average when it comes to frame sizing. So that will work for the majority of people. But if there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's not to get too hung up on those numbers. Anyway, back to the 607. This is a new colorway, the champagne, ties in really well with the gold accents on the frame. And it might even be my favorite colorway of the 607. 
But then, of course, to round off the video, we have the purple. You've been eyeing it up throughout the video, I know. It's a really special colorway for this frame and probably not one that I can pull off. But you know what? For the right person, with the right personality, the right attitude, this is going to be an absolutely awesome, stunning frame. I think this could be worn by either a lady or a man, to be honest. Most of the frames featured today could be maybe not the right card, but definitely these Kazals, definitely those JFRAs are completely unisex. This one, I am looking forward and I'm very excited to find out who selects it because it's definitely a statement piece, something that's really good to have in your Iowa wardrobe. Probably not your everyday glasses, but definitely if you want to turn heads and make a statement in the right environment, it looks awesome. I hope the advice I've given you in this video has given you a little bit of food for thought and maybe helped you to look at eyewear selection a little bit differently. A lot of people get hung up on those numbers. They will assume that if one frame fits them in a certain size, another frame will fit them in the same size and that unfortunately is not the case. That's the bad news. The good news is that most people will fit a variety of sizes and that opens up a lot more possibilities for choosing the right glasses. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of inspiration for your next pair. If it has, and you enjoyed this video, definitely give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. But if you have any specific questions about frame sizing, I would love to hear them. Leave them in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.